we all felt the same things. We were all upset and we had all been pigeonholed by the by the people and authority figures in our life. We were told we were bad kids. And, and later on, we showed them how bad bad could really be. They were the canonical punk band. They had a presence that just that just exuded punk rock. You know, this when you think punk rock, you think of these guys that are that are currently killing themselves and are on stage. They were so pissed off and, and there were so little chance that it would actually work in, in, in the long term, but that's really what made it so great. I don't care what's gonna happen to me in the next five seconds, I'm really mad and I'm gonna scream and do something crazy about it. We were the epitome of punk. We didn't care. <laughs> I still don't care. For a little chunk of time there, things seemed like they were holding together pretty well. We start getting these bigger gigs, uh, anti-heroes, the Quincy Punks, Blank 77, Seven Seconds, Meat Men, Fear, Rancid, the Warp Tour. We have interest from a booking agent out in LA. Uh, we seem to be drawing some level of national interest. And then all the hell just broke loose. I hate every fucking one of you. The fucking human fucking race sucks. It seemed like like drugs finally like consume the band. I gotta get the fuck out of here <laughs> or I'm gonna end up like strung out like all these people. Some of the best shows I've ever played, I don't remember going on stage. Dave and Ian really set off on this, you know, kamikaze mission almost uh, of drug consumption. Dave in particular, I remember people were always very concerned about that he was, seemed to be hurtling down the wrong path as fast as he possibly could. Dave just puked all over himself and didn't even care. Shit got really fucked up. When you're sitting behind a drum kit and you see a gun come out. Nazis wanted to kill us. Some story about being banned from a club because David peed in one of the monitors. Holy shit, Wilson just beat up a girl. She was bleeding like a motherfucker, it was awful. The person they're buying dr drugs from came running off of his front porch with a chainsaw. What the hell is gonna happen? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious when someone's trying to commit suicide. He decided that, you know, he'd be better off and everybody else would be better off if he just wasn't around. They just didn't want to be alive anymore. He won't get out till I'm almost 60 years old. Uh, that's, that's pretty heavy. <laughs>